Hi guys, it's Jim for On Point Samples, and today I'm going to show you how to process any lead vocal and go from a really bad sound to a really good sound. And there's a few key steps, and before I dive into it, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. It helps the channel a lot. Make sure to drop a comment to uh, let us know what you want to see in the future so people can like it and we kind of have a poll to see what people want to have created on the channel. There's four steps. The first step is Melodyne, auto-chewing. And you want to make the melody as the vocal exactly how you want it. Call me Mr. So use something like Melodyne or anything that works, maybe new tone, whatever. Second step is removing white noise in between. So you gate the a certain noise threshold. Third step is processing it, which means you add like compression, limiting, de-essing, multiband compression, EQing, anything you need to make sure it's 100% clean. And then the final step is adding your special effects like reverb, delay, fixing the frequencies to your song, adding distortion, some cool effects and anything. And I'll walk you through every step you need to know. And the first step is Melodyne. So let's open Melodyne. I'm not going to show how I do this because it's really uh, comes up to you and there's more tutorials about it and we might make one if you want to see it. If you want to see it, make sure to drop a comment. Anyways, you load it in, control A, and then you do pitch center and it just moves every vocal like every note exactly to the center of the pitch. And then you just go over each and every note and see if the melody sounds right to you. And then for this part, I might see, well, it's a little bit too wobbly. So, you know, select the note and then I change the pitch modulation or change the pitch drift. So in Melodyne, it's basically comes down to control A, this one, pitch center, pitch modulation, pitch drift, and this knob here where you can separate notes. So let's see, you want this one separated, you get a note here. If you click Alt and left click, you can move it up and down if you want to change the melody. So now you fixed your vocal. It's pretty good with auto-tune. It's like on tune, the melody is right. You render this, export as WAV file, and there you go. And then you put it into your project. What you then do is open up this thing and you have it there. So you put it at the project tempo because you want to render it at the right BPM. You route this one into your mixer. Uh, by the way, this vocal is in Galactic Hardstyle Vocals Volume 1. We've just released it. It's a really dope sample pack for any hardstyle producer. It's at Ambience, Cinematic Fox, Three Vocalists, Ethereal Vocals, Lead, Male, Female, 10 Leads in total. Three really dope templates and vocal effects. So make sure to check it out in the link in the bio. Anyways, this is the vocal. And what we first add is we remove the bass. The second step is gating noise. So you open up your sample, you control A it, normalize. You go in between spaces here, between in between vocals. And as you can see, there's noise here. So you drag and drop, like you go over it like this. Just copy uh, thingy. Acquire noise threshold, disable it again so it selects the whole sample, gate noise. That's it. And when you do this, be careful that you don't have any weird parts in between. Because let's say I say this is the noise threshold because I took a little bit too much. As you can see, it generate it leaves like spaces. It leaves uh, stutters in between. And this happens with the noise in the background as well. And then when you boost it with a lot of distortion or whatever, it comes up and it sounds bad. So you need to make sure the empty spaces are fine. What I did here is you have this vocal, we did that, you drag and drop it in, then we have this vocal, and then you go into the empty spaces and make sure that every empty space is actually empty. So you can select it and just make sure it's empty because there might be some noise stutter. So make sure the vocal sounds good after this stage. You render this, file, export, wave file, there you go. Now we go into the third stage. So you now did Melodyne and gated the noise in between. You route this into your playlist, you remove, first step, remove the bass, that's one. Remove the bass, just like that. Then you add auto-tune. More auto-tune, yes, because it's better. Take the skill, it's usually minor, and you go into the key. And for free fall, lead vocals, female lead vocals, free fall is an E minor. So you put it at E minor, and then it sounds like, sounds like this. Leave me to be, do and say anything. And you don't want it to be really yodely, so like you want it to be clean. So you put flex tune at like 60, so it takes a while to get to that point. You add auto tune, now you add compression. Compression, you read the threshold. So you kind of find out where it's hitting its head, like it's hitting roof. It's 15 to 12, so you put it at 15, 13, ratio at 4. And it kind of pulls everything under 15 to 15 and everything above 15 to 15 back. So it's kind of, it pulls it back to whatever threshold you set it to. Now you have this sound. Then you add OTT. It's free, get it. It's uh, a dope multiband compressor. You add a multiband compressor. So I put it at depth and I changed the downwards compression. So those are the two knobs you really need to know. Leave me to
to be. There you go. What I then add is a limiter because I want to remove the uh, the spikes. Leave me to be. Do and say anything. There you go. Then I add a deesser. You go and read this frequency. Leave me to be. Because it might generate like a sound and you remove that. So you go and look for that range. And then you put a preset, whatever. If you get a plugin, there's a preset. Put it at a dope one. Leave me to be. And just make sure these get removed. So then I remove the bass on my vocal again, just to make sure. I read frequencies that I don't like Leave because they're too loud. To and I remove those a little bit. So in this case, it's this one. It's a little bit annoying. Leave me to be. Do this one. Say anything. Leave me alone. There you go. So re render this, and that was the third step. So Melodyne first, second, gate noise, third, add this whole chain of remove bass, auto tune, compression, multiple compression, remove the spikes with a limiter, de ash your, your focal, and remove the bass and unwanted frequencies. You render this, and then we get the dry vocal. And the dry vocal is also in the pack here Galactic Hardstyle Vocals, dry. Freefall. We have this vocal added to our mixer and then first things first, remove the bass again just to make sure there's no bass. Then remove the bass again right there and then we add a first thing and that's called the hollow room. We want reverb already better like this. Leave me to be, do and say and then we add delay with whatever plugin you like, maybe free delay, echo boy, whatever works. Leave and I think four to three as a mode works best. Leave me to be, do and say so that's another effect you can add. Then you can add distortion as an effect because that's really dope. I add blood overdrive. Leave me to be, do and say then I add a compressor to get it back to a normal volume. Leave me to be. And I only add the compressor just if I think it doesn't sound really good. And if you don't know, know if it sounds really good, just don't really use it. It's details, right? So what I then also add is a widening effect. So patcher from F Studio to F Studio. This, this is the dry signal. So like there's nothing happening here. Then I add stereo enhancer or stereo shaper and I add fruity chorus. So I want a chorus effect on the vocal and then stereoize whatever that generated. So then we get this. If you understand this effect, right? So I put it here. And it's a little bit wider. So that's basically how you process this vocal. So first, Melodyne. Second, gate the noise in between the vocal. Third, add all these things. Cut the bass, add autotune, compression, multiple compression, limiting, deesser to remove like the shh frequencies, remove the bass and unwanted frequencies. Then you'd render it, make the process dry. Then you remove the bass, maybe add distortion, maybe add widening if you like, add a compressor, add reverb, delay, and remove the bass again and maybe change the frequencies how you like. And that's your processed vocal. And then if you want to see it in action, we have a template, template two, in Galactic Hardstyle Vocals if you want to check it out. And you get the stems, presets, and MIDI files as well if you can't open it, and you get all these dope samples too. So it's a really good dope template to have. The link is in the bio anyways. So it sounds something like this. Going higher. Yeah, so that's it. If you apply this method, each and every of your vocals will sound perfect. So you can get a really bad vocal from a vocalist and still fix it because you added Melodyne, fix the melody, then you add more autotune to make it really clean. You remove bass, you remove like gated noise in between, then you add reverb and delay to kind of mask the poor quality and suddenly a bad vocal sounds really, really good. Yeah, so just copy those methods. Um, make sure to drop a comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, let us know what you want to see in the future. I hope you enjoyed this one, and uh, have a nice day.